Hey everyone, on this lesson we will introduce the principal component analysis, which is a very popular technique for analyzing large data sets containing a high number of dimensions or features per observation. So first of all we need to have some background, and that is that when we have very large data sets, this big dimensionality can cause problems. First of all, this causes a computational cost for processing this data, and also the quality of the data is reduced, since we will have a higher probability of wrong data, also noise or irrelevant features. There are two elements that define the dimensionality of the data or of the data set. One, the number of examples, right, the number of rows that we have on the data set, and two, the number of attributes, that is, how many columns, how many features we have in this data set. Now, the problem of having too many examples, too many rows, can be easily and trivially solved using sampling. Now, remember that sampling is a very fundamental statistic technique, that consists in the selection of a subset of all the examples, all the instances from within this data set. So we process only this subset and we estimate the characteristics of the whole data set. So it is very simple, we just select a subset of all the examples. Now, if we have a problem of too many columns, too many features, too many attributes, this can lead to a bad impact on the performance. First of all, a very pure scalability. Remember that in machine learning, scalability refers to scaling machine learning applications that can handle any amount of data and perform many computations in a cost-effective and time-saving way to instantly serve millions of users residing at global locations. Also, with many attributes, we will have an inability to deal with the irrelevant and noisy or redundant attributes. Having too many attributes can also lead to an overfitting, that is, we have more features than actual data. So, there are two methodologies to reduce this number of attributes. The first one is this, the dimensionality reduction, the one that we will introduce on this lesson with the principal component analysis. With this methodology, we do a transformation to go to a space with less dimensions that we had originally, preserving the original information. So we have less dimensions and it is easier to compute and we also gain scalability. The other methodology is to basically remove or delete from the data set study some attributes. So here we just uh, do a feature subset selection, right? We select a subset of all the attributes of all the features we have and we only study them. So this methodology is, is very trivial. We just remove them from the data set. Now we will introduce this one that has many, many techniques and many different and interesting approaches in machine learning. The principal component analysis is a technique that we use for analyzing these very big data sets containing a very high number of attributes and dimensions. And with this technique, we can reduce the dimensionality of the data set and also visualize this new transformed data set on this new number of dimensions. So, with this, we introduced the principal component analysis and why it is necessary when working in machine learning. On the following lessons, we will study how we can apply this technique, how this technique works, and also see some examples using this technique with large data sets in Python.